Anybody has any doubts here? No, we're all clear. Okay, what happens in deployment? Once the software is ready, what do we do? Yes, so that is deployment. That is now the software is ready. We are going to <coughs> release the software. So there is a certain process that has to be done. How do you release the software? What are you going to do? So there is some document that is created when we go ahead and release the software. What is that called? Any idea? Yes, absolutely correct. It's an installation manual. And you have your developers here who will help with this step with the help of your admin data administrators. Because there's a lot of technicality involved in this. So that's why you won't be able to do it alone. So you have with the help of data administrators. What is UAT? Has anybody heard this term? User acceptance testing. What do you actually mean by that? Yes, absolutely correct. So user acceptance testing is that I actually have a particular user for which I have created that software. So once I have released the software, they are going, the users are going to actually do the testing. That is known as your user acceptance testing. So what happens here is in case of UAT is you are going to, the user is going to test it. And what is the document that is created for this? Any idea? Any name you can think of? Just an idea, like you said, inst installation manual was absolutely correct. What do you think will be uh, the thing here? It is, it is, yes, it is the user manual. And who is going to do it? Again, you have your users, but here they are the users, but they do not know a lot about the testing part of it, right? It is we as the testers who know. So who is going to help them? QA and the developers will also go ahead and help them wherever required. Is it clear? So let's just do a quick recap. So rather than me talking, I would uh, maybe, you know, start by you. Can you explain the first step to me? Okay. Okay, let's say you, you are the client and you want some software and I am the business analyst. So I walk up to you and I ask you, I have a pen and paper. I have some, these days there are a lot of softwares or whatever, but let's go with a pen and a paper. And I asked you, okay, so you want gmail.com. So you say, yes, this is what I want. So you start telling me your requirements and as a BA, I start jotting down those requirements. So that is what I'm going to do in my requirement gathering, right? So the BA is going to do it. I'm going to interact with the client and what the document that I create is called the PRD. What is the second step? Okay, what happens in planning? Right, absolutely correct. But can you tell me um, a little bit more in detail what are we doing here? I mean, you have... You will have a lot of questions when you go ahead and actually plan a project. You are the project manager. You are the project manager. I have given you a set of requirements and I tell you, can you please plan the entire project? So as a project manager, you'll have to tell me what is the schedule. You'll have to tell me what is the budget. You'll have to tell me what tools you are going to use. You're going to tell me that what is the scope of the project. Scope means what, what, what functionalities we are going to test. So any question with respect to how the project should be executed, you should be able to answer as a project manager. So that is what the project manager is going to do. Right. What is the third step? Yeah. Planning, uh, do they decide the time frame also? 
yes they decide the time frame also yes that is when when, when you say schedule budget time resources tools any kind of questions with respect to the project everything is going to be done in the planning what is the next stage okay what happens in case of analysis yes so initially like you know in the first i knew that i have to do login that was first requirement but in frs that is details of requirement i need to know for login what is the mock up screen going to look like what is going to be the name of the buttons so all the details for the brd are going to be there in frs so what is the output of this uh, uh, phase analysis it's called frs that is the name of the document and who's going to do it the business analyst what is the next step design so what will happen in design yeah what do you mean by program logic that means that now i know that a screen has to be there but when i click on the login button what is the logic that is going to happen behind you know what is going to happen how is it going to work so all that is done by the architects uh, who are architects they are nothing but developers with good experience more experience you know the minute you start developing lots and lots of applications you get a whole idea of how the application should work behind so that's why they become the architects so what they create is something known as a design document what is the next step right yes absolutely correct so here the coding is actually done uh, then after that what do we have the next step test so what happens in testing you are going ahead and testing the software who does this qa means all of us so from today onwards all of us are testers so as a qa means i am going to do the testing of the software so when i have to do the testing of a software how i am going to do it what documents i am going to create so all that is done by the qa and this is what the entire course is based about so what happens in case of the deployment in case of the deployment you go ahead and you release the software you here uh, the developers uh, with the help of uh, the data admin, admin people and all they go ahead and they release the software then we have the documents you have the installation manual that is in place then you have uat which is user acceptance testing the users test the software because users have not they don't have the idea about like you know uh, about the entire testing process how do you create test cases how should i execute the test cases so we as testers and developers help them with the entire process and the document that is created is the user manual so we are clear about this any doubts here any doubts here so every project ends with uat you, you we won't say every project ends with uat but uat is one of the main thing because what happens is if the user goes ahead and gives you some kind of bugs then you have to make sure that you have to fix them uh, we'll we'll talk about uat in detail i'll actually go ahead and show you a diagram that you know how uat works and all that so we'll do all that right now we've understood what is software testing we've understood in sdlc what are the different steps who is responsible and what are the documents that are created so next we'll go ahead with something known as 